Want to know about the interesting features, reliability, and the price for both the Koenigsegg Jumeirah versus the Aston Martin DBS Superleggera? Coming up. What is going on guys? How's it going? If you're new to the channel, my name's Awesome and this is my channel Autocrave. If you're new to the channel and if you haven't already, no worries, just make sure you subscribe Hit the notification bell to stay up to date with the latest and the greatest autocrate content and make sure you hit that like button as well. The goal of the channel is to reach 200 subscribers by July 16th, so if you haven't already, just make sure you tap that subscribe button. Alright, let's get on with the video. The first category is reliability. For reliability, what I use to measure a reliability are the number of recalls for the car or vehicle that we're talking about, the warranty information, and the running costs for the, uh, the vehicle. For the number of recall points, that's just going to be based upon how significant or how large the recall was or how many recalls the vehicle or car got. And that's going to be out of 0 points, 0 0.5, or 1. And 1 is the max amount of points for the number of recalls. For the warranty, the same system. And so, in general, for reliability, that's going to be out of 3 points in total. So if a car got 100% for reliability, the car gets 3 out of 3. But I, you guys told me to use exact points, so that's what I'm going to be using from now on. And because of that and how powerful the Koenigsegg engines are, like from the Aguera, the Regera, and the Jumeirah, the reliability score is decreased. So for the number of recalls, I would give the Jumeirah a 0 0.5 out of 1, the warranty 0 0.5 out of 1 also, and the running cost 0 0.5 out of 1, because again, these are exotic cars or supercars, so that is acceptable, which would give the reliability score for the Koenigsegg Jumeirah a 1.5 out of 3. The reliability for the Aston Martin DBS Superleggera isn't that great either because back in 2019, there was a recall for the passenger airbag, which you can imagine is very, very severe. And being a British car, the score isn't helped much either. For the reliability score for the Aston Martin, for the number of recalls or how bad the recalls were, I gave the Aston Martin 0 0.5 out of 1 stars. For the warranty, 0 0.5 out of 1 stars as well, since there is a 3 year unlimited mile limited warranty which includes the powertrain, and for the running cost, 0 0.5 out of 1 points as well. Given this information and the fact that the warranty is the same as a Ferrari A12 Superfast and a Bentley Continental GT, the score for the reliability for the Aston Martin DBS Superleggera is a great 1.5 out of 3 stars. The next part is price and what I judge pricing by is value because that is what's going to distinguish between two cars and ultimately giving the buyer a firm decision on what car or vehicle to actually buy. With the Koenigsegg Jumeirah, the value is there because look at the technology. There's digital mirrors that are offered which you can see on a McLaren Speedtail which can cost a couple million dollars. And since the Koenigsegg Jumeirah -like deserves a 1 out of 1 for value, that gives the Jumeirah -like a 3 out of 3 for price. The Aston Martin has a different story, because if you compare the Aston Martin to a Bentley Continental GT, the value isn't, isn't that much, because for a Bentley Continental GT with a W12, that starts at around $250,000, dollars which is more value than if you get an Aston Martin, which is, starts at $300,000. In that case, I'm going to have to give the Aston Martin a 0 0.5 out of 1 for value, which would give the Aston Martin a total of 0 0.5 out of 1 points for price. I'm sorry, Aston Martin. Both cars have an interesting list of interesting features, so here are those features. For the Koenigsegg Jumeirah, the engine of the Jumeirah is called Tiny Friendly Giant. The Jumeirah is the first four-seater Koenigsegg ever made or manufactured, and the Jumeirah also has the Synchro Helix doors, which you would see in the Aguera the, and the Regera as well. Don't worry, the Aston Martin has a lot of interesting features as well, including an under bonnet or under the hood there is a jewelry pack, which is a $2,300 option that adds an anodized aluminum oil filter cap, an aluminum dipstick finisher, and a an gold gilted hood lining, which is under the hood. And the Aston Martin also, like all other Aston Martins, has these doors that Aston Martin calls swan doors, which symbolize the wings of the Aston Martin logo. In this comparison, we found out that the Koenigsegg Jumeirah had a greater general score than the Aston Martin because of reliability, price, performance, etc. 
And if you haven't already, there should be an I button for information on the top right of the screen. And make sure you go check out my Welcome to My Channel video, my Corvette C8 versus Porsche 911 comparison video, and the video before this actually, which was the Koenigsegg Jamira versus the Aston Martin DBS Superleggera comparison for performance, interior design, and exterior design. I hope this comparison of the Koenigsegg Jamira and the Aston Martin DBS Superleggera was pretty interesting. And make sure you subscribe, tap the notification bell to stay up to date with the latest and the greatest autocreative content. And make sure you like all our videos and see you next video.